This weekend is a really significant and important weekend for us, and it's all about having as much fun as possible while doing as much good as possible. This is the kickoff of a, a weekend full of charity events for the foundation to be named later, and uh, the business of baseball luncheon at the hotel today has become really kind of a centerpiece of, uh, of a big fundraising weekend. It's just a fun way for the business crowd to come get together and raise money for our charity and also get entertained for an hour. Managing today, is there more coddling of young, non-established in the big league egos than you ever thought would come with this job. We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great deal of fun. It's been a lot of, uh, uh, it's been, it's done a lot of good in the city. It en enables us to sort of fulfill our purposes and uh, people have been great. In it. Personal relationships always, they always went out and you know, I've loved Peter Gammons and Theo Epstein and, and Paul for a long time and uh, you know it also feels like family around here winning a World Series here in 04. It's nice every once in a while to, to show up and have fans be able to pick your brain, ask questions and get your viewpoint. But see these these guys approaching the game on a daily basis like Don Mattingly, like Wade Boggs, being ready to play, not making excuses for being you know aching and you know pain and uh, just playing hard every day and giving it a hundred percent. That's how you learn. The fact of the matter is that you know you play in a community. You play, uh, you know, with a, you know, for a group of people that are human beings that are you know part of this community that you have to help. Not only by you, what you do on the field, but what you do off the field as well. And uh, sometimes it's as important. It's, it's, it's very hard, but hey, man, uh, he he thinks I can do it, so I'll be fine, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's extremely important. We're in a spot where with their ownership and through Sam Kennedy and everybody in the organization, we're very supportive of being involved in the community, want to be involved in every respect. It's something that we not only talk to people in the front office, but our players, but it's extremely important to us. I can't say enough about what it meant over the Red Sox and you going to, to, uh, to Caguas and around Puerto Rico. It, uh, to, to know that a country that has gone through what it's gone through um, has a legitimate hero that people really are invested in is terribly important. As he was in Puerto Rico, the Red Sox went down, did that great day down there. So he flew in just for this, and I, I really appreciate it. I've known him well for a long time. Yeah, Alex is um, about as authentic and genuine as a person you're going to find. It was a privilege to go meet his family and see where he grew up and um, see the real need that, that still exists. Everybody's making a big deal, whatever what we did but you know I think the whole credit has to go to the organization and the sponsors because with one question they impacted a lot of people back home the whole credit should go to the organization not to us our whole Red Sox foundation and foundation we name later is driven by sponsorship and support from the corporate community of course we have a lot of contributions from fans but business community is hugely important to, to driving the uh, initiatives and um, we've had amazing support since 2002 when we started uh, for our foundation the support of this event with the foundation to be named later is directly supporting these young people's access to higher education so to be here today in support of again the foundation to be named later and Peter Gammons and his work is just a perfect combination of all of us trying to improve the lives of youth in Boston and New England. The foundation to be named later, we wanted to honor Peter Gammons, so we decided to start a scholarship in his name and we started it in um, 2010. So we have 90 young people on the Peter Gammons College Scholarships. They are the highlight for the foundation. They just make us realize all the hard work we do is worth it. We look at this as an extension of what we do in the community. Uh, philanthropy is a big part of Comcast, and this is a great partnership. Uh, you bring the public and private sector together in a great partnership to raise some money for some needy kids to go to college. I really can't think of a better way for us to make an investment in the community uh, and an investment in our customers every day. So it's, uh, it's been a great relationship and one that we look forward to every year. If we didn't have Comcast, we would be nothing really you guys not only put us on TV make videos for us um, donate your time and talent to help us with the events but you give us really much needed money that goes really far and because everyone donates their time and talent we don't spend a lot of money on our events so all the money you give us can go back to the scholarships or to the nonprofits that are doing the good work in the community all the people who work so hard to put this event together we couldn't have done it without you thank you so much <laughs>